Now let us try to clarify the concept of loop through a Python demo program. For the sake of simplicity, I will use the same example that is our racing track or track and field example in this demo program also. So let us start writing the code. So first, what do we need to do? We have to initialize the race. That means what? We are initializing the race from the lap zero. So what do I need to do is I have to take a variable called lap and then initialize it to zero. So that is basically called initialization of the loop control variable. So in our case, this is this variable is called lap in here, which keep track of the lap every time. Now, after initialization, what you need to do is you have to tell the Python interpreter that, well, I am about to start the race or I'm about to start the loop. So how can you do that? You have to use this while keyword to tell the Python interpreter that, well, I'm ready to begin the loop. So let's prepare all these things. So after saying this while, then what you have to do, you have to specify the condition until when your loop will continue. So in our case, uh, as if you can remember, in our case, we have specified our race will continue until the lap count reaches four. So you have to write that down here. That is lap less than equals four the meaning of this entire line is well lap started from zero and it will keep on repeating or keep on iterating or keep on looping until the lap count is less than equals four so like that now so this part is basically called condition based on our loop control variable next next what i need to do is next i have to write all the statements or all the instructions that i want to execute when the loop will continue what i want to execute again and again and again so i just put in the next line i put an indentation and then i am writing that well the candidate will keep on running. So I'm just writing run over here. This is just like the fact that, well, the competitor or the candidates or the participant is running. So just print run here. And then in the next line, what I want to do, I want to see that in which lap the candidate or the competitor is in. So in order to do that, what I can do, I can simply print the value of the lap in here. So just like this. So the competitor currently is in lap. Then the value of the lap variable. So this line will explicitly say that, well, uh, while running, the competitor at this point is in the this particular lap maybe lap 0 lap 1 2 3 4 something like this so this one i have printed now after this i am almost at the end of the loop so what do you need to do in the end of the loop just think of our track and field competition example what the competitor needs to do by the end of each track the competitor needs to increment the lap count like this lap equals lap plus one something like that so here i have incremented the lap variable which you can call as modification part so this is just like the competitor by the end of one lap or one circle or one loop or one iteration just incremented the lap count by one and then in the next line 
since we are done with the loop construction then what we have to do is just in order to understand explicitly that whether our loop is finished or not i'm just printing one statement saying that out of the loop this is just like the fact well after lap count is four the competitor actually stopped the race and just broke the loop broke the lap and came out of the track so this is just like that so now let us try to run this program and let us see what happened. So if I run this program now, as you can see, well, in the lap count zero, so it has iterated this run and the competitor currently is in lap, then the lap count variable, then the value of the lap variable many times. So these have been repeated like one two so next time the next iteration and the next iteration and then finally it came out of the loop and printed this out of loop so this part this is the iterative part of our code that means the repeating part of this code this few instruction which is written right after the while with the indentation is being repeated again and again and again to print this output repetitively so now let us try to understand what is happening how is it iterating many times from the perspective of program so let me write down a little bit in here so what happened is first the variable lap is basically starting at zero right so no confusion in there so lap is starting at zero now it basically in the first iteration it just iterating all these statement like this print run and uh, this statement also as you can see in here and here so at that time the lap count is basically zero so it printed zero in here now by the end of the first lap what it does is it incremented this lap count so this time from zero it have been incremented to one like this so now it is one in this line now what happened so well now it went back to this while loop again now what it is checking now is well is one less than four because the value of lap is one at this point so it is checking whether one is less than four or not or less than equals four or not so well it uh, well it is true because one is actually less than four so what the program does is it came inside the loop once again and then again it printed both these lines that is print run and this time the value of lap variable is already incremented to one so that is why it printed one in here okay so after that it incremented the value of lap again so from after printing it one then it incremented the value of lap so this time it incremented from one to two like this and then again it actually went to this while loop once again now what happens is so this time it is checking instead of one it is basically checking whether two is less than equals four or not so well this time also like uh, since two is actually less than four it came to the while loop again and this time again it printed run and then printed the lab variable as two in here like this and then 
what it does is then it again incremented the value of lap by one so that means from two it is incremented to three and the same process repeats itself that means it again went to this uh, while loop and now this time instead of checking with two it basically checks whether three is less than equals four or not well three is actually less than four so it came to the loop again so and now this prints like three in here just as you can see first it prints run and then it prints three and then in the last line of the loop it increments it to four like this and after incrementing to four it went to the while loop uh, while condition once again and this time instead of checking with three it is basically checking it with four whether four is less than or equals four or not and well four is equal to four so still the condition is true so it will come to the loop once again and it print this run and then the lap variable that means it prints four here and after printing four what it will do is it will increment the lap count variable from four to five and after incrementing it to five it will again go to the while loop, while loop to check whether the condition is still true or not now this time what it checks is it basically checks whether 5 is less than equals 4 or not right because the value of loop have been incremented to 5 so this time it is checking whether 5 is less than equals 4 or not and this time it founds the program found that well this condition is false it is not true anymore because 5 is actually greater than 4 so this is a false so it basically came out of the loop and then print this out of the loop and the program ends so this is basically how a while loop works it continues until this condition written in here is false or in the other word while loop continues until the condition over here holds true and it breaks when the condition here is evaluated to be false